trying to think about what Easter means to me as a, as a Jewish woman. <laughs> um, chocolate? Finding chocolate like two years later underneath. Oh yeah, we had Easter hunt and it was great. And my mom was very organized so she wouldn't forget where she put chocolates. But every once in a while, she'd forget one and they would be like, you know, you'd find a chocolate, like a moldy chocolate, three years later, just hanging out on the, on the bookshelf. Happy Easter, my lovely peeps. I'm really excited about this Easter, partially because I am giving birth that week. Oh, kind of nerve wracking, but really exciting. So while you guys are watching this at home, I might be in the hospital pushing my own little egg out. I don't know, we're gonna see. Now I'll tell you, that might not be the best visual right now, but what is a pretty awesome visual is chocolate. And today we're gonna to be making some vegan gluten-free chocolate eggs. They are really colorful, they're super fun to put together with your kids, and they really bring me back to my childhood because my mom is a bit of a Martha Stewart and she would plant the most amazing chocolate egg hunts. And I'm hoping I'll take after her and do the same for my little ones one day. So guys, let's do this. To a sauce pot, I add some almond butter and maple syrup and give it a good stir over medium heat until everything comes together and melts down. Then to a bowl, I combine some brown rice cereal, shredded unsweetened coconut, ground flax seed, and my maple almond mixture. And I give everything a really good stir until it all packs together and is nicely combined. Then I pack it into egg-like shapes really, really tight and place them onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silt pad. Set it aside and let's make some chocolate. Over a double boiler, I melt some cocoa butter and some coconut oil, and I give that a stir until it melts to a nice clear consistency. Then I pour that into a bigger bowl, add some vanilla extract and lots of powdered sugar, and just give it a good whisk until it all comes together. Then I just transfer it to a few different little bowls and color each of them differently using natural food coloring. And now it's time to decorate. Drop each of your little Easter eggs into one of the bowls with the colored white chocolate, making sure to coat it completely all the way around. Then transfer it to the baking sheet with the parchment paper. Next, transfer any remaining white chocolate to some piping bags and add all of your favorite shapes and decor. Finally, it's not an Easter egg without some fun candy. So get out your favorites and decorate. Let your eggs cool in the refrigerator until totally set before transferring them to a cute little Easter basket for serving. Enjoy! Look how cute these little Easter eggs are. Honestly, almost too cute to eat, but not because they've got chocolate and sprinkles and all the good stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be digging in right away. Not waiting for the kids, not waiting for the hunt at all. So if you love this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite Easter traditions. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.